Hello everybody. Uh, I'm gonna make this video and hopefully it'll straighten up the assignment, straighten out the assignment a little bit better. Uh, it's a little confusing. Um, there's little gotchas in here, so hopefully this will make it clear. So I got a fresh out, uh, After Effects up and I'm just gonna double click in this area to import. And I'm gonna bring in the basketball court. And I'm gonna double click again and I'm gonna bring in the basketball. And it's gonna make sure this is footage and it's gonna ask me how do I wanna interpret it. Uh, we can choose any th one of these three, obviously. But when I, uh, it came in pre -mult. I'm not sure why it came in pre -mult. Uh But we can hit guess if we're not sure and it went to straight. So let's see what that looks like. So I'm gonna bring my basketball court and I'm gonna bring it down to the comp for a new composition. Then, I'm bring, then I'm gonna bring the basketball and put it on top. So it guessed right, because that looks really nice. It's got really nice fall off and the edges look really smooth and it integrates really well. Um, so for this assignment, what we're supposed to do is change between the different mats and save out a file. And I think the saving out maybe was a little confusing, but I'm gonna try to clarify that. So let's say we wanna change this to the unpremult. So we can right click and we can interpret and we can go to main. And instead of guessing, because it already guessed for us, we can actually go to ignore, so it's not going to bring in the mat at all. And we can hit OK. And in the directions, it said to solo, so we're going to solo the basketball court. And this is OK if you get this. I'm not too worried about it. So this is the unmatted. Uh, there's no mat, so that way there's no fall off, there's no alpha, and it's all just white and black pixels in the alpha. It's uh, comped incorrectly obviously and it wouldn't look right so we want to save this as a PSD and here I think is where it got a little confusing like in every program there's a hundred ways to do everything and to save out a file or the, what we wanted to do is actually go to composition same frame same sorry save frame as and maybe you guys saw this I'm not sure um, we'll hit file and we can go to Photoshop and as you can see we have more options here but we're gonna leave it as is for right now um, you can change everything here. You can render it without an alpha, just the RGB. You can render out just an alpha, which I actually do a lot. You can change the colors. Um, they have floating now, so which we'll get into the future. Uh, straighter, pre -mol. So we're going to hit OK. And then I'm going to save this to my Module 3 class, but I'm going to name this Basketball Unpremolt. I'm just going to save as. Now I'm going to go. Oops. Now I'm going to go to that folder. Oops. Oh, sorry. I got to render it first. I'm getting ahead of myself. So we got it saved, and I'm going to hit render. It's one frame, so it's really fast. Now I'm going to go to that, and here it is. And if we look at it, we got ourselves an image. So what we want to do is then go back into our comp. And we can do that again. We can change it. We can interpret footage. And we can go to pre -mult and we get this little white fringing, which doesn't look correct either. Because sometimes when you pre -mult too many times, you can start getting white um, or black edges. So that's usually a, a sign of <clears throat> incorrect pre -multing. The other thing we want to do, just kind of, I just want you guys to be aware that we have channels over here. So we have red. You can look at your red channel, your green channel your blue, alphas, and your straight alpha, which looks really funky, right? So then what you do is you'd go back, you go to composition, save frame as, and save it out again, name it properly, and rinse and repeat and do that until you have all the images that the assignment asks for, and that's it, and you'll be done. Hopefully, I know the alpha is a little confusing, um, and pre -mult and multiplication is a little confusing. The good news is After Effects does a lot of that for you under the hood, and you never really have to deal with it. Almost never. It does come up, um, but when you get into Nuke, that's when it becomes pretty important, and you really, you're actually most usually on pre -multing and pre -multing all the time. So you gotta, you will eventually have to learn it. Right now, just be aware of it and just the idea of the, the alpha as a channel and using it for fall off and then recognizing when it's a bad, maybe 
interpret it incorrectly when you see white fringes or black edges, and then you might have to reinterpret it. So knowing the signs is, is, is really important right now. So hopefully that clears everything up. If you have any more questions, feel free to email me or message me uh, or however you want to get a hold of me. Uh, usually the message uh, office or the module posts uh, I usually see. So hopefully this clears everything up and I hope everyone has a great night. Thanks.